You clicked on the right After Effects video because in this tutorial, we're gonna create a very stylized 3D title. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. It's that guy who talks really fast within his own tutorials. But in this video, we're gonna talk about this advanced sort of stylistic 3D title, which focuses specifically on the stroke effect outlining the title, which creates this nice glow. It's very easy to create this effect and we're gonna get started right away. And before we get into this video, the guys that are managing my social media now have told me to promote my Instagram page because we're posting some really cool things on there. So go ahead and check the links in the video description. And we're also starting up on Discord. I don't know much about Discord, but I know that's something we are heavily doing right now. So if you have a Discord, go ahead and check our links in the video description. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects, and before we begin, let me remind you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download these project files for absolutely free by using our link in the video description. You can download this off my website. So already we have a background and a title in here, and when you have your logo or title in place, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the top, go to Layer, and click on Pre-Compose, and just call it Placeholder, and then click OK. And the reason why you want to do this is so that later it's easier to change things out. So we're going to take our title or logo and we're going to make it into a 3D title. And there's multiple ways that you can do this, but I'm going to do this the old fashioned way where you turn your placeholder into a 3D layer by clicking that box right there. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to duplicate our layer by going up to edit, duplicate. So now we have two placeholders and then I'm going to grab the bottom placeholder and I'm simply going to take the Z position and bring it back. And I'm probably going to bring it down back by just two. And it's nothing big whatsoever. Then from here what I'm going to do is duplicate this again. Go to the bottom layer and bring it down to say 4. And then I'm going to grab all of our layers, duplicate them, bring them underneath the bottom placeholders. Hit P on keyboard for position. And I'm going to bring it down by two intervals at a time. So if 4 is our bottom layer, I'm going to go right to 6. And simply I'm just going to repeat this process by two points every single time I duplicate it. All right, and we should have enough. And from here, what I'm gonna do is grab all of our placeholder layers and I'm gonna pre-compose it and I'm gonna call it bevel. Great. And now with our bevel ready to go, I'm gonna go into this composition, the bevel composition and go into the placeholder composition. And I'm gonna change my title to black. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy our title and then I'm gonna go back into our main composition and I'm gonna paste our title in this comp. And then what I'm gonna do from here is right click our title, click on create, and go to create shapes from text. Now this works great with a logo if you have an Illustrator logo. If you don't have an Illustrator logo, go ahead and check our links in the description. I created an old tutorial on creating the stroke effect on an older object, but this is a great way to do this. So from here, what I'll do is turn off the fill at the top and click OK. Go to stroke, set it to solid color and click OK. And I'm gonna set my stroke color to white. Then I'm gonna open up this layer and go to add and I'm gonna add a trim paths. With trim paths, I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to set down the start by a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a keyframe for offset. Move to the end of our timeline. I'll just say five seconds, the end of our timeline. And I'm going to increase the offset. So now we'll have these lines going around our title just like this and it looks pretty nice. And then I'll duplicate our shape layer and bring it underneath the bevel. And I will you know, make all these layers 3D layers. Then I will move back our bottom layer in Z space to where we can see it right behind the title, just like this. And now we have two outlines of strokes in here, and which is going to look really nice in a second. And before we move on to make this a very nice glow title, we need to click on this continue rasterize icon right here in the middle. It's right here and that needs to be clicked on for our bevel layer. And now when we're ready to move on, we'll grab all of our layers except for the background and we'll pre-compose it and we can call it uh, title. Now from here, I'll go to Effect, Stylize, and we're going to add Glow. We're going to come here to the Glow Colors, where it says Original Colors, set to A and B Colors. Go to Color Looping, and we're going to set it to Saw to B greater than A. And from here, we can change Color A to whatever color we want, so perhaps we'll do like a nice orange. I'll increase the Glow Radius by a touch. And we're getting just a little bit of Glow, but nothing dominant. So we'll duplicate this effect, and then this time we'll increase the Glow Radius by a lot more. And then we'll duplicate the top glow one more time as well and bring it underneath our second glow. And from here we'll increase the glow intensity to probably about two or so. And now we're starting to get this very nice, you know, glow stroke around our title and it's looking pretty cool. And you know, from here we're still not done. We're gonna add one of my favorite effects to glow effects. And this is a drop shadow because we need to add some, you know, dimension to this. So go to effect perspective and we're gonna add drop shadow. 
And from here, we can set this to a nice warm orange color or whatever color palette you're using. And we'll come over here and we'll set, increase the softness like crazy. I mean like 500 to even 1000 on this. And, and we can set the distance down to zero. And we can increase the opacity by a touch and it's just glowing out the background a little bit more. We'll duplicate it one more time. Maybe this time we'll actually change the color a little bit. Maybe we'll make it a little bit darker. And maybe we'll decrease the softness. Maybe back down to like 100 or so. Then decrease the opacity. And this adds just a little bit more pop to our title. And now we're getting this nice you know, stroke around our title. And since this is in 3D space, we should be able to use this as a 3D layer. So let's go ahead and create a new camera by going to layer, new camera. And click OK. And if we just grab our camera tools, we got nothing going on. Even if we make it a 3D layer, nothing good's going on here. It's not 3D anymore. So you got to click on that rasterize icon right here for the title layer. And now we can move this around in 3D space without a problem. Now, if you have this back layer pop off your title, that's because it's not uh, in the right position. So if you go to your bevel layer and you go to your bottom placeholder and you hit P on your keyboard. So this is at 94. The last layer is at 94 pixels. So we go into that you know stroke that we did. We set the position to like 96. And then we go back into our main comp and that's going to be placed right on the back of our title. And the reason why that we did duplicates of the placeholder instead of just creating real 3D text was because with this effect, for some reason, when I did it, I got these weird distortions around our title. That's why I did it the way that I did. Uh, so, you know, lack of problem solving there. But this is what I'm using to work with here. So now we can add a quick camera animation to this and, you know, really customize what we want to do here. I'll find a position I want to start out with and I'll add a keyframe for position and point of interest and I'll move to the end of our composition and I'll just use the camera tools here at the top and I'll just reposition our title and if I just hit C on my keyboard I'll cycle through the different tools here and I can move forward on the title or move backwards just depending on what I want to do um, I'm going to be able to do whatever I want. And of course you can use the camera options to do a nice depth of field, but it helps save time on rendering. I'm just going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to effect blur and sharpen, and I'm going to add Gaussian blur, and I'm going to set this up to about 20 or so. And click on repeat edge pixels, and simply I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw out a nice rectangle, a longer text like this, and click on subtract. And hit F on my keyboard for feather, and I'm going to feather the mask. To maybe about 100 and just for a last ending tip if you want to go crazy with the glow effect just add the same glow effect again to the adjustment layer and you'll have this more a little bit more insane glow effect going on if you really want that style but but for me i'm going to keep it off all right and after a quick render here's what we have and now i want to take a quick break in the action to give a quick shout out to one of my favorite extensions inside of after effects and that is toko which is an extension for after effects which has over 1250 motion graphic elements ranging from typography shape elements text messages big titles infographics devices logo reveals and so much more simply if you're like me you're always looking to save a ton of time when doing motion graphics and being able to just quickly apply a shape motion graphic to your title or being able to grab a title preset within a couple of seconds allows me to save a ton of time and more importantly produce amazing work for my clients. So anytime I do work that's repetitive or if I'm just looking to save a ton of time, I'm able to find a handful of templates in any of my After Effects projects within a few clicks and finish the work within just a few minutes and send it over to the client. So if you want to learn more about Toko and how you can start saving time, go ahead and check our links in the video description. So that concludes what should have been a very easy advanced title to create. I hope you were able to take away a handful of techniques from this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.